It's my time to shine. Uh, I don't know about this. Huh? Brain, you've never had a problem with me pooping before. In fact, you would always be so happy. I know, intestines, but this time it's different. I don't think so. It's gonna come out the same shape and color it always has. Can we talk yeah, about something else? else? What's up, intestines? It's not what's supposed to come up, it's what's supposed to come down. Ew. Brain, could you hurry up and let intestines do his business? But I don't want to go to the bathroom in front of all my friends. This camping trip is in the middle of nowhere, and it's going to last a full week. What? You can't do this to me! Agreed, that's a terrible idea, Brain! Eh, what's the worst that could happen? Death! Ha, <laughs> no way. Unfortunately, the intestines are right. Holding in your poop for too long can cause severe complications, and in some extreme instances, death. You're kidding. How can our own poop kill us? Holding in poop for too long can cause fecal impaction, which is when a hard, dry mass of poop becomes stuck in the colon or rectum. Oh, I can feel it now. It can also cause gastrointestinal perforation, as well as distension or stretching of the rectum. Okay, okay. I get that those are all bad, but how can those things possibly kill us? Well, for one, it could cause colon cancer. An increased fecal load in the colon may increase bacterial counts and create long-term inflammation, which increases the risk of developing cancer. Doctor, I've heard enough. Brain, would you please listen? Intestines? I... Yes? Yes? Hate to tell you this, but it's still just too embarrassing. I'm willing to take the risk. I'm not. You can't deny who I am, Brain. Pooping is what I am! Without pooping, what am I? Let me poop! Let me poop! Don't worry, intestines. The trip's about halfway done. The doctor, any tips on how I can hold in my poop for a couple more days? All right, all right. First, relax the rectal wall. Then, avoid tensing the abdomen. Doctor, no! Next, clench the butt muscles together. And finally, avoid squatting. Thanks, Doc. That advice is going to help me see this through. Brain, please! Sorry, intestines. Just one more day and it'll all be over, I promise. Tomorrow, we go home and have a nice private experience in the comforts of our own luxurious bathroom. But I can't take it. It feels like I'm going to pop like a balloon. This is all worth avoiding public embarrassment. Oh, Brain, you suck. Ugh. Oh, wow. Oh, I've never felt so relieved in my entire life. Yeah, that felt really good, all right. Uh, intestines, I promise to never put you through that ever again. Sorry for not letting you do your thing for a whole week. Apology accepted, Brain. As long as you let me poop whenever I want and wherever I want. From now on, no more restrictions on pooping. The poop shall set us free! Ugh, you guys are sick. Yuck. 